change for his speech. where a community of students can come together and accomplish things that they never could in a typical classroom. In school today, we learn. We learn endlessly. We take notes and we study for tests and we stay up until 3 a.m. finishing our essays, but for what? Educators would argue that the constant hoops we jump through to maintain our GPA or some needs to end. But there really is no end. We study and we work and we stress out all so we can do it again next year. There's no end goal. There's no show of the final accumulation of the knowledge we've worked so hard for. There's nothing to give worth to everything we've learned. What I, with the members of the STEAM initiative, propose is a creation of a program to help students see the purpose of this seemingly endless cycle through real-world applications. Now, I'm sure everyone in the room is familiar with STEM, but for those who aren't, it's an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Education. We call our group STEAM, and include the A for Arts. What we're trying to do is create a group that points out based off the idea of a makerspace. A makerspace is a place where people can meet to create, design, invent, and now, my vision for education was obtained by this makerspace because the process of creating, applying what we've learned, is the same from a project we're trying to institute itself. There are teachers, students, our principal, companies, and people all around the community are all working together to make our goal a reality. The project is running on a massive scale and it has dozens of components. Mr. Hamka, the principal of South, he's been working tirelessly to give the makerspace the push it needs to get off the ground. The science department head, Mr. Adams, he's been crucial in guiding us to our end goal of reinventing the educational climate of South of helping us lay the foundation of this club we're working so hard for. The community is going to be key in funding our project, getting it on its feet. Finally, the students. The project will be impossible without administrative support, but for the most part, it's entirely student-run. A group of 15 of us, freshmen and seniors, are working together to design, promote, and fundraise this project. From making ar architectural drawings to organizing a budget and creating a website, we are working hard to make our makerspace a reality. That is what education should be about. Students and teachers coming together from all corners of education to chase their goals, to make the impossible possible. It's not endless testing and circular schooling. STEAM additionally embodies my vision for education with the actual group we're designing. The club is nothing in itself or any school for that matter, we'll see before. What this group is, is it is a place for students to pursue and apply skills school teaches them. This will be a place where students can actually use the information they've worked so hard to learn. The concept we're trying to create is learning and doing on your own. Our goal is to make a room where it's possible to make nearly anything. The materials, the programs, and the knowledge necessary to create or learn anything a student desires are all going to be contained in our maker space. What students do with their time, what they make, is up to them. This group relies on a student's initiative, the student's drive to make it work, not an instructor or a leader trying to keep everyone on task. For example, if a student wanted to create a robot, the student wouldn't just go ahead and start welding and hope it worked out. The student could create a model of the machine on a computer or design a small model out of metal. The student wanted to write a code to enable the robot to run through its functions. If the student did it, excuse me, didn't know how to code, there would be materials and fellow classmates around as resources. Our program emphasizes self-learning and collaborative learning. After creating a design and a code, the student would approach one of the benefactors. They would present the project, tell them the materials and the funds they need, and after all this is complete, the student could make a machine. We, did, we envision this as the general operation of the group because this is how the real world works. This group impresses self-reliance and collaboration among its members. It gives an insight into the mechanics of how a real scenario of building a machine would work in the world. In the end, we hope we can actually integrate this club into school to make it a class available for any student in South to take. The entire concept of this makerspace of the STEAM initiative is to create a room, this group, the class with real-world applications. This, finally, there will be a space where kids can use what they've learned, a room that blends every aspect of the school, principals, teachers, administrators, and students from, from all areas, science and technology, engineering, arts, and math. It's a room that will change education and that will prepare students for the real world by providing an escape from the mirage of public school. By creating this type of environment in schools, I believe my education will show, this, will show students that there is a purpose for everything they've learned. Thank you.